This is Joshua Milligan with Resultant. Thank you for joining us as we talk about how-tos with Tableau. Today, we're going to talk about how to show and hide sheets dynamically on a dashboard. I've got a workbook with three sheets already defined, sales by state, sales by month, including a forecast, and sales by category. And my goal is to place them all on a dashboard, but in such a way that the end user of the dashboard can decide which of the three views of the data they want to see. In order to do that, I'm going to place them on a dashboard inside of a container, either a horizontal or a vertical layout container, and that can be added to the dashboard either floating or tiled. I'm going to add it as a tiled snap-in component. And then I'm going to add each of the views that I want to show and hide to that container. So I'll just drag and drop those into that container. And you'll see by default, Tableau shows each one of them. The key is to provide a way of filtering out all of the data for each of the views except the one we want to show. To do that, I'm going to create a parameter. I'll switch back to sales by state and select Create Parameter from the drop-down in the data pane. I'm going to call this Show Sales By. I'll make it a string. And I'll give the end user a list of options. We can see the Sales By map, by month, or by category. And I'll say OK. Now, I want to use this as a filter because in order to hide a sheet, I need it to filter out all the data. So I'm going to create a calculated field based on that parameter, and it's simply going to be the value of the parameter. So I've given it a name, I've included the parameter, and I create a calculated field because that's how I'm going to be able to add it to a filter, and I'm going to add it to each one of these views. You'll see that the current parameter value is the only option to select, so here I'll select Map. But when I switch to Sales by Month, I'll need to show the parameter so that I can select Month on the drop-down. And now when I add the Filter Calculated field, I can select Month. And the same thing with Category. I will once again show the parameter control and add Category. And now my filter allows me to have category. So notice with category selected on my drop-down parameter, when I switch to forecast, it's blank. And when I switch to state, it's blank because the parameter is universal or global to the entire workbook. So I'll switch back to the dashboard and I'll add that parameter control I'll just use the drop down on any one of the views and I'll add the parameter so that the end user has that as an option. I'll get rid of some of the legends. I'll move the parameter into that container such that it's above everything else. And the final thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that the title is hidden. So I'll hide the title on each one. That allows the view to completely collapse and you can see that, that when it has no data, it has collapsed within the container. So now, as the end user switches between category, month, and map, that's the view that is shown. Thank you for joining me as we considered one way to show and hide sheets in a dashboard. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications for more Tableau tutorials. And if there's a topic you'd like to cover in the future, please leave it in the comments. And be sure to visit Resultant.com to learn more about our analytics and services.